My hair on fleek. All right, let's start this. What is up, guys? It's your boy Shaki S U S here, bringing you back another video. So the school year is almost coming to an end, which means summer vacation is about to start. And a lot of people of my age are either looking for a job or have a job. And, you know, it, it got me thinking a lot. How can you get a job to the best ability? You know, a lot of people have applied to jobs and they're like, nah, man, I didn't get the job. Uh, and, you know, and I was like, this, this person's great and he's well suited for this job. How did he not get this job, right? And a lot of people had this issue. And I thought, maybe I should make a video on this, on how to get a job. This is gonna be the top five essential things that you're gonna to need to get a job. Now this doesn't necessarily mean that you're gonna get the job 100% sure, but these are things, tips, kind of things you can say that'll actually give you a higher chance of giving you that job position. So let's begin. All right, so the number one thing is question yourself. Now question yourself means literally ask yourself questions. What are your skills? What are your abilities? And this is essential in writing a resume, okay? You want to write everything that has any connection to this job. Um, small or big, write it all down in your resume. Make sure you're using, you know, words with skills, you know. I, I like teaching, I educate, or I manage, or stuff like that. Write it, write it down, use those words, bold those words in your resume and it, it makes your resume just look strong itself. And just keep asking yourself questions. What skills do I have to get this job? It's kind of like a mini interview for yourself. And you answer the question in your hand and you type what you just answered down onto your resume. All right, number two is think outside the box. Now, thinking outside the box is really important because a lot of people are gonna be applying for the same position that you are. You need to think differently from what people think. So if you were to be asked any questions, think to yourself, what is the generic answer that people normally give? All right, now, what's the answer that I should give? That seems totally different. It's a totally new concept or something like that. And with that, you know, the employer would think, this person's actually a little interesting it, because they're thinking differently and they would be really interested in know having a further interview or even getting the job just from that all right so the number three skill is get certified now thinking outside the box is really important and you stand out from that but another way you can stand out is getting qualified let's say you're applying to a position where you know you don't need any qualifications but if you do get qualified let's say in first aid you're gonna be put up on the list a lot higher and you're beating a bunch of people just because you're qualified in the first date. And that's really important if you know if you want to be even like considered, right? Because you just went on close to the top of the list. That way you have a higher chance of getting that position. Now there's also other small things that they'll look at that you may possess, um, but they act like it's not serious. But in reality, it could make a huge difference from getting the job and not getting the job. Some things like a second language. Taking French up to grade 12 could be a huge impact um, for getting a, a job. So getting qualified and you know taking some of these courses that's not necessary, but gives you a higher chance of getting the job, all the worth. All right, so this brings me to number four, which is getting experience. Yes, I know what you're thinking, Shaki. I'm trying to get my first job. I have no experience. I never had a job before. How am I supposed to get experience? Now, in today's world, there are many opportunities in how you can get experience without having a job. For example, there are positions where you can actually volunteer for, and that requires you to have the same skills, and you're doing pretty much the same thing, but you're getting volunteer hours and not getting paid. Volunteering can get annoying because you're not getting paid for it, and you're doing the same thing as somebody else who's getting paid for it and you're like well that's not fair be patient with it though you know the more experience you have the better it is and also volunteering could make new connections and um, you know you can connect with new people and you can open new opportunities to find other jobs potentially so it's really important to actually volunteer 
um, to get that experience. And another way to get experience is by doing a co-op, you know. Try and see if you can kind of do a co-op program. Avail it's probably available at your school in some places. Some schools don't do it. Um, it's not, you know, if you do co-op, it's great. If you don't do co-op, it's not the end of the world. Um, you can also work with your parents um, and try and get the experience of the position that you want to apply to. Um, during an interview, they may ask, well, what experience do you have for this position? And you can say, well, I work with my dad in this field. And it's not the same field, but it requires these skills and that relates to this job. You know, and if you do that, you have a higher chance of getting a job because really experience is one of the main things they look at. And finally, number five, this may be the most crucial thing in getting a job and the most tedious, annoying thing to do, and that is to never give up. It's important that you don't just apply to one position and hope that you get it. Apply to many different jobs, you know, you don't think that following these steps will guarantee you getting the job because there may be people who actually do the same things that I'm just telling you, but even better, right? So it's important, apply to different places around your area, you know, and see if you can get this job. It's really important to not give up. You'll get phone calls saying, sorry, you didn't get the job, or sorry, you're not getting an interview. Don't give up on that, right? Keep applying to positions. It gets annoying, it gets tiring, and it's a lot of work. But I'll assure you this, if you apply to many positions and finally you get that position, that you, you know, apply to, you'll feel so grateful. You'll feel so happy, you know, be like, this was worth it. I'm happy that I applied to all these jobs and got rejected just so I got this job. I'm happy, right? Because you don't wanna, you know, apply for one, didn't get it, okay, you know what, forget it, I'm not getting it. But you may think in the future that, oh, maybe I should have applied to that, dang it. Like, don't give up, really, really important. So if you are planning to apply to a job for the summer, getting a summer job, Try these steps out uh, if you're new to this and you've never applied to a job before. These are some of the main things that employers do look at. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope you guys learned something really valuable from this video. Uh, leave a thumbs up if you learned something new that you didn't know that employers look at. Uh, leave a comment down below if you know anything else that employers look at. Um, but you know what, hey, until then, I'll catch you guys on the next video. This is Shaggy S-U-S signing off. Later, guys.